Layers are powerful tools for organizing content in your drawings. The primary way to control layers is to come up to the toolbar and then click the Layer Properties button. This displays a dialog box with all of the layers found in your drawing. As well, you can change the properties. So let me give you an example. Here the elevator is shown in red because it's been assigned the red color to the elevator layer. If I change the color to say blue, all the lines that have been placed on the elevator layer also change to blue. These many properties have the following meaning. This turns off the layer. As you can see, the elevator lines have disappeared, which is an old version from the very early days of CAD. It's preferable to freeze the layer because this helps speed up the way the drawing is handled. This lock icon locks the layer from editing, so you can't make any changes to it. You can see it, but not change it. Here's the color, and we, if you want more colors, you come down and select more colors and choose them from the index color or true color sections of the dialog box. Here you change the line types, and so here's a couple that have been loaded into the drawing. Click the load button to access more of them. Click OK when you select the one you want, and it's then applied to the layer. Here we can change the line weight and the line weight looks very very fat. Often the changes don't come into effect until after you leave the dialog box. And transparency is how clearly you can see it so let me reduce it down to 90 and you can barely see it. I'll come up to 30 and it's a bit easier to see. Plot styles are not enabled in this drawing so I'll skip over them and finally the last item here that's of use in model space are whether or not the layer will be plotted. Some of the layers have been turned off and if you then plot the drawing you'll see that the layers for whom plotting has been turned off are in fact not plotted. Now that we know a little bit about what layers do and what they control, let's see how to create a layer. So once again I'll select layer properties from the toolbar and then choose the add button. This adds a layer to your drawing of the generic name layer 1. You can immediately change the name to something else so I'm going to backspace to remove the default layer and let's call it border. The border will have a color of gray and I think I'll leave everything else as it is. Notice that the little uh, parallelogram which represents the shape of a layer is gray. It means it has no entities on it. The blue ones mean there are entities on them. Before I leave the dialog box, I'm going to click here to make it the current layer. That means anything I draw now will be drawn on layer border. Then I click the close button. Let me zoom out a bit, start the rectangle command, and then draw a rectangle. When I choose it, you'll see that it was drawn on layer border with the color gray. You can create an unlimited number of layers in any drawing, giving them any name up to 255 characters long. When you draw an entity on a layer, it doesn't have to stay there. So for example, this rectangle, which we drew on the border layer, I'm going to now select the elevator layer. And when I press escape, that the rectangle is now on layer elevator. There's a second place where you can make those changes. So I'll select it again and come up here to the toolbar and let's choose the balcony layer. The rectangle is on the balcony layer. Naturally undo command works with these so if I undo it goes back to elevator layer, undo again and it's back on border. You can use the two layer drop list to manipulate layers in other ways. So for example I will come up here to the toolbar and the border layer I will freeze. Oh, NanoCAD says I can't because it's the current layer, but it says I can turn it off instead. Click OK, come back, click the light bulb to turn off the border layer. Once again, NanoCAD warns me and I say yes, the layer disappears. The drop list in the properties bar works the same way, so I can come in here, turn the layer back on, the rectangle reappears. To choose a different current layer, select it from the drop list and you notice that it says zero there and zero there. I can now 
freeze the border layer because it's no longer the current one. Similarly, you can turn off the printing status, the lock status. The one thing you cannot do in these drop lists is change the color. For that, you need to use the layer properties dialog box. Mm -hmm.